Ron, your time at Wisconsin was truly special, and your career perhaps will never be matched. You've made a permanent impact on this program. Today, your legacy grows further as we retire your number, the highest honor we can provide a student athlete. As a tribute to you and your accomplishments, no other Badger football player will ever wear your number, number 33. In his debut season in 1996, Ron Dane made an impact on the field unlike any other freshman in Badger history. He set an NCAA record for freshman rushing yards and was the nation's fourth leading rusher on his way to earning conference Rookie of the Year honors. Obviously, Ron Dane is everything you'd want in a football player. Um, he had the size of 250 plus pounds. Uh, he obviously had the speed and the feet of a smaller back. Uh, as far as durability, uh, we pretty much put our offense on, offense on his back for four years. Um, week in, week out, we had 40 to 50 plus carries and every week he produced. Dane earned his first All-American honors in 97 and became the first sophomore finalist ever for the Doak Walker Award presented to college football's best running back. That year, he became the fifth Badger to reach the 3,000-yard plateau, needing only 17 career games to get there. He finished the year as the nation's fifth leading rusher. I think he really epitomized uh, what a University of Wisconsin football player was during that during that time. Uh, physical, uh, just relentless. We he stuck with things, and you know you knew when you played us that you were going to be you were, were going to be hit. You know the line knew what we were going to go do. We we knew we were going to run plays that the opposing defense knew, and there was nothing they could do to stop Ron. And, and I think that was a testament to just how great of a talent he was. Dane set another milestone early in his junior year, becoming Wisconsin's all-time leading rusher. Dane earned All-American honors and was a finalist for the Doak Walker Award as the Badgers won the Big Ten Championship. At the 1999 Rose Bowl, he ran for 246 yards and four touchdowns, earning MVP honors and setting the stage for a magical senior year. The bigger the game, the bigger Ron played. I think that was true throughout his career. Um, he was such a special guy and that the brighter the lights, um, the better he played. Dane's final season as a Badger was simply one of the finest in college football history. His career-long march to the NCAA rushing record culminated with one of the greatest days in Camp Randall history. 's rushing record in hand, a stirring ceremony followed the game. The Badgers accepted the Big Ten title and Rose Bowl invitation, but one surprise remained. University of Wisconsin wants to have you take a look up here in the facade and how you will be remembered forever by the Badger fans of the University of Wisconsin. That season, Dane cemented his steps as one of college football's all-time greats. He won the Doak Walker and Maxwell Awards, as well as college football's most storied individual honor. 1999, Heisman Memorial Trophy 2. Ron Dane of the University of Wisconsin. Dane finished his career on a winning note, earning MVP honors in the Badgers' win against Stanford in the 2000 Rose Bowl. It was a career unmatched in UW history and one that defined Badger football during his time in Madison. Eight years ago, his name was added to the stadium facade as a symbol of his greatness. Today, he becomes just the sixth player in history to have his number retired by the University of Wisconsin. From this day forward, no other Badger will ever wear the number 33 of Ron Dane.